Okay, this is part two of my quick and easy hairstyles. So I'm brushing out my hair right now. You guys are gonna wanna brush it out. Well, this brush that I'm using right here, it's not really for brushing. And this brush too, which I'd say is more for brushing. This is actually gets through and it's all tangles out. This one gets some tangles out, but no, not really as much as this one I'm using right now. Because this one is nice to see how all these little teeth and all that. Whereas this one is just really smooth. It's not like smooth, but it like helps smooth your hair. Like, so put it all like that and smooth it out. And it's really smooth and shiny. I just wash my hair. Um, all I have in here is just some clips like this. And some bobby pins like these. I think it's really what I know. There you go. Bobby pins. Um, yeah, that's all I have in here. You're gonna need a couple of ties. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, two cute things I found at Claire's. I saw one here, but they look like this. They have flowers on the end. And they're like this. And what you do, I'm gonna use one for this. Like, say, so I have these bags, and so you wanna clip them back to this hair. All I would do is I take this and put it there. And then I just twist. And there you go, it holds it and it looks really cute. This is especially cute if you're in school. So, what about my Claire's? So, yeah, I have Claire's and icing the Claire's, all that stuff. Um, also, I bought these at the dollar store actually. You can get three in a pack, and they're braided and beaded hair extension ties. So, they're just hair ties, basically. That's what my hair is on the floor. My black one. My black one, my brown one, my blonde one. I like the blonde one with my hair. You can look, because the brown one, it's a bit too dark in my hair color. But they look really cute because they already have these little beads in them there. They probably give you a But yeah. Let me show you one hairstyle if you're in my class at school. You know, I use this a lot. I'm a second one. So what I do, I part of it, I just pull this hair back really tightly. I leave the bangs down. I think not like this while I'm doing this part, so that they won't accidentally get to flip there. Well, at first, when I pull it all together, I let it be really messy. But then I use my smoothing brush, and I pull all this hair back in it so that it's smooth. And most of my hair is like that. My hair is because of all these crazy different lengths. So, yeah, I have some difficulties, so I have to use some clips. I'll show you at the back. So, this is the back. Um, I could just do something down. And then I'm missing some parts in here. Let me take a brush. Yeah, I know I'm missing some parts. So yeah, and then what I really like about hair ties, I like these ones, like the staple ones, so I like to put like one of these in, or I'd rather use these regular ones, like the red one that I'm using it now, I'm going to pull that into my hair, like this, what I like sometimes with a couple bumps in it, but what I think is really cute is if you can blonde them like this, and I can't do this for school. I go to Catholic school and they won't let you wear stuff like this. And then you just tie it in, and it looks really darn like so much better. And this is what it looks like, and it's really cute. And if you like this, you can put it all over them, and make it awesome. And see, I'll stand up and show you the back and I'll it. So 
just keep going. Oh, um, I find it's harder when you try to do it very really quickly and put it in and take it out and all that. To use these quick hair ties, I'd rather use the regular ones like this, like without all the little lumpy things, because they're so much quicker and easier. And next, look, I really like this one. Um, so what you guys can see, there's pretty short with the end. So I'm going to take it from this side. I'm going to fold it up for a second. Well, underneath, I brush all around it. Like that. So I take this part, and I braid it really, just try and keep it tight to the scalp. I have problems with doing that. And you just, uh, just keep braiding it, and braiding it, and braiding it, until you come to the end. Okay, so let's turn out the end here. Here. Grab a hair tie, like this one here, and just tie the end up. Oh, well, this hair tie is pretty small, so it takes a while to kind of hang up there. But there we go. And you have your little braid here. Oh, that's pretty cute. That is the same thing. Um, and then also these are good for that because they can go on the end and just twist it into whatever area you want to keep back if you want to keep that. Now I do that. I just I pull it all back into a bit of a bow ponytail. But I don't really care if I don't want to put it in it. I pull it into a ponytail and then I tie it in a bit down from the scalp. Like down here if it's not really close to the scalp. You have to see like all this thing here. You turn around. And then with all this extra hair, and what you're going to do with this hair, even in the ponytail, just pull on it until the shed will not make it really messy. And it looks pretty cute. Tie back, braid it, and down. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the next one I use has the braided one too. But you're gonna need some bobby pins. Like this. And open it up. And um, I heard some girls call it like an angel sort of look because it's like, you know, it sort of it does to me, it looks like this to me too. But it's What's it called? Um, like a halo thing, the angels. By the way, see the angels that reminds me of Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Even if, it, if you guys are watching this in March, it's December 22nd, 2010 right now, so at 10.13 p.m. in where I live. So, yeah. There we go. And that. What I also like, which I tried before once when I did this hairstyle, what I did before I clipped this part back, I took, I think, I believe it was the black one like this. I believe it was the black one. You can buy these at M Dollar Store, I'm pretty sure. I've seen a lot, lots of dollar stores. I like to buy two pair extensions. You know that, and you tie it in. And then when you clip this part back, you bring this back to and clip it with that. And then you have a bit of different hair there. I'm just going to clip it and then I'll turn it on to show you guys. Okay, thick. Let's see if this one here, if you wanted, you got two. You put a black one here, you put two black 
Yeah, it's really cute. Especially so in the hair of my like. Because my hair needs to grow a little bit more and then it'll sort of blend in. It'll look like the same length and all that. That one's pretty cute too. It's been 10 minutes and 26 seconds, so I'm gonna need to go in about 5 minutes. Plus that. Um, and then I'll probably make a part 3 to this video, but it's taking so long to the hair. And those are the two. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty much gonna end this thing here because I'm not gonna go all the way to a limit. Okay, actually. But this, I'm not sure if I can do it like this with my hair in the shirt. Oh, yeah, I can. Now, what you wanna do is that you don't look like a little kid. Make sure I have one of the Just make sure you have some hair hanging over your ear on purpose. And make sure that it starts beneath your earlobe, your um, pigtail thing, so called. So I'll start down there. I know this tie it here. And it looks good bottom. Okay. It looks cute. Especially if you're going to my age, I'm 11. But, and you don't. I want to look like a baby because you don't want it too grown up. I don't want that much right now. I don't want to look like a baby. I don't want to look really grown up. So, yeah. But, there you go. And what I have done with this before is I look like a bang sound and it looks really cute. Really, really good. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll have time to do that. Yes, I will. I can probably do this in three minutes. In a few minutes, I can do that. So, yeah. so you take your hair, especially if it's really short, short like mine, this looks really cute. And you pull it back. Alright, so I'm going to show you the back in one second. After I tie both of them back, it's going to not take very long, it's just to keep messing up. I like to make sure that it's. Yeah. Put it right and that hair is pulled away. There we go. Okay, I hope I can finish this hairstyle before time runs out. It's like two minutes approximately. Yeah, I like to try all these cute little fun hairstyles in some mornings before I go to school. I will get up really early and then. I like trying to do different hairstyles. I have it in one style and take it out. I know sometimes at school I'm changing the hairstyle all day. I remember one time I was brushing my hair in the class and the teacher started looking at me right in the middle of science and she's like, put the hairbrush away. And I'm like, okay. There's really what I'm doing. It's so tangled and so many. Anyways, yeah. Same. Now this, I'm going to take a clip clip of this and just clip this clip back and this is the back so they're really close together and this is the whole so this and it looks really cute from the side too you see I have a couple styles that sort of make you look a bit like a top now and I got it pretty much in one minute so I just wanted to think oh I got the videos real usual now oh but her videos inspired me to do this video so yeah pretty much this this video but yeah she has like a lot of blonde hair and her sweet um yeah it's almost Christmas this massive fucking under a tree that keeps me a little time it's to be it's so big. Yeah. Okay, what can I see? Oh yeah. So I'm not sure how much of these these little flower things. I'm not sure how much I have to buy to pay for them. But they come in this little pack of like six of these. Okay, and I think it's gonna cut off in like ten seconds, so I guess I'm going to have to say bye bye with you about seeing Part three. Okay, bye, YouTubers.